Hey everybody, I've got a great video for you today because we are taking a look at a 2024 Tacoma, but not one that you've seen before because Andre went to the press launch of this truck back in Hawaii and got, got all the details. But in this video, we're taking a look at the first lifted 2024 Tacoma. Now this is the standard model. This is the TRD Pro. I say standard. It's still got these fantastic Goodyear Wrangler territory tires and it's still got the rear locker and all the off-road goodies. Um, but what we're going to show you next is an option you can buy through Toyota with a bunch of TRD accessories to take your Tacoma and turn it into a beast. Now this TRD Pro of course features a lot of new technology. You got turbocharging four cylinders, hybridization, all this exciting new tech. Um, and of course you get the off-road skid plates and that kind of thing. But let's take a look at the main story today. Now this event we're at is actually an internal Toyota event that I don't think a journalist has covered yet. It's called October Beast. And Toyota employees from the headquarters here in Plano bring out their own cars to show off. And you got everything from GR Corollas to GR86s to MR2s. Uh, then there's a whole other parking lot, Case Lakes, the LFA. There's a whole other parking lot over there that has non-Toyota products. But Toyota Corporate is also bringing out some of the cool stuff they want to show off, like this 2024 Tacoma with a bunch of off-road accessories. And like I said, I think this is probably the first ever lifted 2024 Tacoma because there's just, uh, they're just not out to the public, right? And this is a, a, a kit that Toyota is working on. It's a still prototype, but this is going to be a kit you can buy, which is fully covered under warranty. And they tell me it's about a two and a half inch lift in the front and about a two inch lift in the rear. In case you want to kind of go back, maybe go to the 0.5 and show them the overall stance. This really, really fills out this truck in a big way. So it allows it to sit a little taller and it allows it, you to put on a larger set of tires. Now, let's talk about the suspension lift kit a little bit more. So this is a beautiful upper control arm. Look at that, this um, beautiful red and white TRD branded upper control arm, which clearly replaces the standard model. And then we've got the spring here and they're pretty light on details because this is still a prototype. They haven't announced pricing or anything to that matter. They're just kind of experimenting with what the system will look like. And then we've got these Nitto Ridge Grappler tires, 275 70R18s. Much more aggressive tire than what you get on a standard um, Tacoma. And it really gives this truck a nice look. And we also have these uh, TRD wheels. They said they'll have a TRD center cap, but there's a shortage on the center caps right now. Now looking down upon it too, it looks like the, the wheels are spaced a little bit further out. And with these nice chunky tires, it really fills out the wheel arch. And what I like too is compared to some other previous generations of Toyotas, um, not a lot of intrusion from body mounts or that kind of thing on the actual wheel well. It looks very, very clear, which I like. But of course, because it's engineered in-house by Toyota, it still has to pass crash test safety and that kind of thing. So you know it's gonna be a good product and it's covered by the full Toyota warranty. We have a set of side steps down this model. You can see that here and the black Tacoma badging. And this is an SR5 truck, but it does have the roof rack and the bed bar from a trail hunter. So you can see, uh, you got the, the Trail Hunter ARB style rack there, and then just a really cool addition to this truck. And once again, Toyota's worked with ARB on this accessory. And you can see it's not just an off the shelf thing. The way that this cab integrates into this bed bar here fits beautifully, and it's going to be a high quality product. Uh, full TRD exhaust on this truck, too. So they're going to offer both an exhaust and an exhaust tip as well. And then as we take a look at the back case, this also has a prototype mount for a spare tire obviously this sr5 wheel doesn't doesn't go with the truck but it's all prototype it's all super early on and that's a kind of a cool way to give your truck a desert running look although to be honest i probably wouldn't go that route because it does eat into your bed you can also option it with the step back here which is coming so a lot of cool things but overall i'm really impressed with the overall stance of this truck it's wide it's got a nice aggressive look and it should um, all work well because it's engineered in-house by Toyota covered by the Toyota warranty and you can even bundle it into your financing and these are all TRD products so Toyota does have an accessory program which you can install aftermarket accessories through the dealer and have them you know be uh, be kind of worked in with the dealer but that doesn't necessarily mean they're engineered by Toyota whereas all the stuff on this truck is done by the Toyota folks but case Let's let them take a look at the inside and see what the interior of this 24 Tacoma looks like. So if you want to pop on over there, 
Now this is still very much a prototype vehicle. This is still early, so some of the plastics are not completely finished. I like this feature a lot. Check this out. The little JBL speaker that pops out of the dash. Pretty cool. You can take that, you know, tailgating out at campsites. Really like that feature. And the inside of this Tacoma is a big improvement over the previous generation. Lots of improvements in material quality, but lots of improvements from a technological standpoint. The new screen with the user profiles. We've got these really awesome buttons, dials, and knobs that look much more aggressive, much more purposeful than the outgoing model. Big chunky grab handle. And then here we've got the two high, four high, four low selector all in the center there. Now this one, like I said, appears to just be an SR5 truck. So I don't think we have a rear locker um, or like the sway bar disconnect in the front. None of that cool stuff, but it is cool that, you know, maybe, maybe you don't want the rear locker in your truck. Maybe you don't care for it. You just want a truck that looks a little bit cooler. Well then save your money, buy an SR5 and then go for some of these TRD accessories and really live that lifestyle of looking cool without having the rear locker and save some money by going for an from a TRD off-road to an SR5. So really nice in here. Of course, you can tow up to 6,500 pounds. You've got the uh, brake controller located here. This truck is going to be available in both um, hybrid and non-hybrid configurations. Both versions do have the new 2.4 liter turbocharged engine, yeah, I just came from the but really impressed overall with, Toyota, with what Toyota's been doing from a, a quality standpoint and an engineering standpoint. If you wanna look down here, Casey's got a lot more um, ground clearance than the standard truck with the lift and of course that TRD skid plate. Sorry about that, I didn't mean to, to, to take your, uh, your space there. But uh, Case, we'll finish up in the rear here. Toyota has been busy, you know, and I think this is a market they've been missing a little bit in the past is the in-house aftermarket community. So Jeep has, of course, their full Mopar catalog. Um, Toyota has offered some accessories, but they've been missing fundamental things like lift kits, like uh, bumpers and racks and that kind of thing. And they've realized that. And now for this new 24 Tacoma, they're being aggressive with their engineering of these parts. There you can see the rear suspension. We got that bright red shock there. Good amount of clearance as well. 27570 R18. What is that case? That's like a 33, I think. Um, almost a 33. So here I'll run the... Let me, let me get the exact, exact math for you. 275.70. So if I run the math, that's gonna be a 33.2 with a 10.8 inch width and a 7.6 inch sidewall. But man, does that just fill out the truck. That really does improve the look of this. So I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments section below of the first ever lifted Tacoma out in the wild here at this Toyota October Beast event not open to the public really but we managed to sneak our way in here and as always this has been tommy behind the camera case we'll see you on another episode check out alttfl.com for more info on the 2024 tacoma